Hello again, I'm Peter from Foxbat Australia. We're well into double digits of deliveries on the A32 Vixen in Australia right now, but this is the latest version due for pickup by its owner tomorrow, uh, the day before Christmas Eve 2016. It's unusual in that it's the first A32 in Australia with Y-shaped control sticks instead of the more traditional Cessna style control yokes. And we're going to have a little bit of a look at it right now so you can see a bit more detail. Apart from the Y stick, one of the most obvious things you'll notice straight away is this bright red control lock, which we've specially developed for the Y shaped uh, handles in the Foxbat and the Vixen. It's a very simple, as you can see, the controls are well locked. There's another strap in between. The strap is tightened by pulling on the adjuster strap here and loosened by simply squeezing the adjuster buckle here, pulling away and lifting off the top of the stick there. There's a hook down on each side which fits into the main cross member. Pretty substantial hook which locks things in place. Simply lift off the loops, take off the hook and lift out and pop it into the luggage compartment ready for next time. And the uh, controls are now fully free and usable. Resuming after a brief interruption to allow one of the Tyab Mustangs to take off uh, with its owner for the first time, we'll have a look again at the stick in the Vixen. Uh, as you can see, the uh, stick in this aircraft has a very nice um, fairing around it here, which makes it look altogether much more professional with a, um, a nice cloth boot at the bottom to protect it. It's got soft touch handles here on both sides and a push to torque on the top. And as usual with Aeropract, uh, the handbrake is on the front here. The throttles protrude from the instrument panel like this. And they look a little bit strange at first, but in fact they work surprisingly well and are absolutely ergonomically perfect when you're flying the aircraft. Uh, they move in and out like this. There is a throttle friction that you can adjust to um, ensure that they stay in the right position when you're cruising. Over on the left side of the panel, and indeed on the right here, they've changed the shape of the uh, pocket on the side of the panel slightly to accommodate uh, a bottle of water. Um, strictly speaking, no alcohol, of course, and the same on the right-hand side of the panel here. Moving down to the lower area here, Apart from the usual layout of information here, uh, there's also the trim lever, the manual trim here, park brake and the cold start choke. Now it seems a little odd at first to have a manual trim with the uh, Y-stick aircraft, after all in the A22 Foxbat it's an electric trim, but feedback from customers said they much prefer the manual trim, it's quicker to adjust and much easier than the uh, electric trim. And for flying in the Vixen, the trim changes are nowhere near as um, dramatic as they are in the A22. So you can normally position the, uh, the trim lever for takeoff and normal flight and around about the central position. And then when you're coming into land, just simply pull it right back and the trim is then adjusted perfectly for landing. Moving over here on the panel, this aircraft is unusual in that uh, it has the dyne on screen, which in itself uh, is quite common in these aircraft, but this one has been fitted with a couple of USB sockets on the panel here. And this little dongle here is a Wi-Fi dongle. That allows you with Avplan to plan your flight on an iPad in advance. And when you arrive in the aircraft, uh, you connect up to the local Wi-Fi, download the uh, flight plan from your iPad into the Dynon screen here and saves you mucking around in the aircraft before flight to get things organized. While yellow is probably the signature color for Aeropract aircraft in Australia, they're by far and away the most common, I think the uh, A32 Vixen looks particularly attractive in red like this one. This is the same red as in fact the prototype aircraft I first flew a couple of years ago now in the Ukraine. But this one's been enhanced, I think, very nicely with the checkerboard tail and the uh, Foxhead logo there which makes it look particularly nice. Otherwise, red is a great colour for the aircraft and uh, of course you've got to remember it will go at least 10 knots faster than all the others.